what a great show it will be this Saturday before Fury Wilder in Vegas. Absolutely. We've obviously got the, the, uh, the monster uh, fight in Vegas, but before that we've got some monsters in the Midlands. So. Obviously, later this year, we're going to see two of Frank's other light heavyweights in action, uh, Lynn and Arthur and the Yard. Are they the sort of fights you'd look at for next year, or are you hoping to go straight for the world title? Um, I'd like to get them to the top. You know, we don't want that, don't we? Um, and defend it against them, or whatever it will be next year. I'd like to get this one out of the way at the end of the day. You know, I've got a bit of a test on me on the Saturday night, so I've got to come through Saturday. I'd like to get it again before Christmas, we'll see what happens, and then sort of next year it's kind of whoever, whenever. sport to do. Uh, we want to fight for these belts, especially the British title, which is the world title for someone like me. Uh, we will be prepared, ready for Saturday. And how does it end on Saturday night? The Danny Ball victory. Echo, for the Danny Ball victory. Agree with that? Uh, sorry about <laughs> that. All respect to Danny at the end of the table, but you know what? I've paid the price to be the boss. I've worked my way from small all the way all the way to where I am now, without a promoter up until the last couple of fights. It's been hard. So I've been training in the trenches, eating graft for breakfast, graft for lunch, graft in the evening. I just graft. So uh, I'm sorry, but this weekend is going to be to the reigning champ. For you, if you come through on Saturday, are you looking to defend that more or are you looking to go up the levels? Um, when I come through on Saturday, I'm looking to take each and every opportunity that gets thrown my way. Um, if you get me out again soon, I might again soon play, play in the ring again. Um, I just want to push on, get my ranking up and take over the world. Next fight, the main event of the evening will be for the British Commonwealth and EBU Super Bantamweight titles. To my left, I have Jason Cunningham, the defending EBU champion. It's a close fight, but it looks like to some people you might still be the underdog again. Do you thrive in that pressure? They said the underdog will never lost all. You have to look at the skin, that's how it is. And, uh, I think Bugs have learned a lesson from last time. Uh, it goes over my head, they can say what they want. At the end of the day, I own the title, I'm the main champion here. I'm the main champion in the away corner, nothing that's not new to me. All I have on Saturday night, yeah, made the best moment, it's going to be a good, good hard fight, a proper fight, all the marbles on the line, all I ask you that I get a fair cut away. Other than that, leave it to me. And, uh, come on, I know what to say. I'm, I'm taking care of both Foster. He said he's going to take you into deep waters, he's going to take you to a place you've never been before. Are you ready for that? Is that how you see the fight going? I'm a very good swimmer, mate, so let's go in the deep water. Let's go for it. Is that the sort of fight you see it being on Saturday, a war of attrition, something that's going to go long and be a hard, hard fight? Yeah, of course, I'm trying for everything, you know. Jason's going to so I've got to be on the top of the game, and I'm sure I will be. 